My name is Kevin Tokoff. In this video, we're going to discuss the theory behind the oxidase test. Okay, you may have heard in other courses or even back to high school that humans are aerobic creatures. Uh, we have and are able to do aerobic metabolism uh, through use of the mitochondria in our cells. And the biochemical means behind this is that we have what's called an electron transport chain, or sometimes called electron transport system, which we use, usually abbreviate ETS. The electron transport system is the biochemical basis behind oxidative phosphorylation and how we produce the vast majority of our ATP for cellular energy. Now, bacteria obviously do not have mitochondria. They are prokaryotes but they still have a way of carrying out aerobic respiration or metabolism, and they have a very similar electron transport system. In both humans and bacteria, the terminal enzyme in the electron transport system is called cytochrome C oxidase, and it uses a substrate termed cytochrome C. This figure right here is a depiction of what's actually happening. Now, when we do an oxidase test, what we're actually going to be doing is adding a molecule called TMPD. It actually stands for, up here, tetramethylparaphenylenediamine, or we're just going to, for obvious reasons, call it TMPD. Now, it turns out that a, a protein, which is in uh, these bacteria called cytochrome C, can actually pick up an electron from TMPD. Okay? Now, when cytochrome C picks up that electron, it itself becomes reduced, Okay, and cytochrome C, as we said, was the substrate for cytochrome C oxidase. So cytochrome C can then deliver that electron to cytochrome C oxidase, and this cycle continues. So as long as cytochrome C can pick up an electron from TMPD, we know that the uh, bacteria has cytochrome C oxidase, and it would produce a positive oxidase result. But we have to have some way of seeing this, right? Well, it turns out that when TMPD delivers an electron to cytochrome C, it itself gets oxidized and it changes color into a purple color. Um, we would say TMPD transfers an electron to cytochrome C, transforming it into a TMPD radical, which stains purple. So the basis behind the oxidase test is if we use what's called COVAX oxidase reagent, it's a different reagent than the other COVAX reagent that we saw previously in the indole test, but if we use that reagent and we see a purple color change, we know that this particular bacteria is positive for possessing cytochrome C oxidase, which we normally will just call oxidase. Here are some specific results here. Um, it's actually quite a pretty dark purple that we're going to see. So this up here is an oxidase positive result. We clearly see this purple uh, color change. Um, in the oxidase negative result, there is no color change whatsoever. In fact, if it dries, you won't even be able to see it. Okay, Another uh, set of results here for the oxidase test. Um, of note here is we actually typically do this on filter paper. Um, this is actually a little bit different than most of the other tests. We're going to do this on filter paper. You can see the positive result here. We clearly see purple develop. Uh, which is the TMPD radical when it turns purple. And here's the negative result. We don't see any color change. Okay, The purple should be pretty obvious. Um, and if you see this purple, that's indicative of a positive oxidase test result. And it possesses cytochrome C oxidase. And that also is usually indicative that the bacteria is aerobic. And make sure to watch the demonstration of this video.